Hey guys, welcome back. Um, I'm just taking a quick look at the cinematic camera. It looks pretty good. Um, but it says make a video. This is the timeline for your video. Okay. Capture key. Tracking your camera movement is done by placing capture keys for the timeline. Each capture key records the place of the camera at the moment you select the key. Oh, that's pretty cool. Okay. Okay. So... Yeah, I don't know what to press. <laughs> Damn it. Okay, this looks like something that could definitely... Ah, capture key. That's the capture key. I can click on that. Oh, that's weird. The zoom in and out is backwards. Properly, is it? Okay, clearly that's going to take a bit more practice. We'll just leave that for now. Right, so the city is working pretty well. Um, I'm going to come over here and get rid of this mess that I've left behind. That's that done. I'm going to have to sort out that um, bit of nastiness there. Oh, that's a flipping tornado over there. Citizen happiness has increased. Right, now there should be a special building in here for me. Because I signed up. No, I don't see it. There should be a castle in here somewhere. Maybe it'll turn up on the next Let's Play session. I don't know. Right, what is this? Power line not connected. Yes, I'm aware of that. These buildings have been air pollution, right? I mean, that does kind of make sense. What buildings are these, though? I don't know. Commercial demand, all right. Let's expand this, let's do some more commercial stuff. Let's go for another grid. Split up. Oh, that wasn't very straight. I don't like that when you right click, it doesn't close the, th the, um, the menu bar down. Oh, 
got such a streamlined way of doing it. So what I don't want is for all the traffic to split up here. I want half of it to go down there, half of it to continue and go this way. That's my thinking. Right. Commercial zones. Tons of. It's a campfire. Campfire site. God. couple of small parks so when you go do your shopping there's a reason to go you know if you behave yourself whilst we're shopping we'll go to the park on the way home that sort of thing all right we're looking pretty good still a demand for industry I don't want to go any further into the trees I think that's going to be a mistake so maybe I need to buy this square here and then we're going to have to have a road coming off here perhaps at an angle if I can do it Let's go grid it. Let's gridify this. Oh, new signature, Villa City. An old style soda bar with a large rooftop terrace where patrons can enjoy their beverage whilst taking in the sights. That's nice. that road black oh it's it's flipping dug into the oh that must have been expensive why is it like that it's kind of built up these protective ridges around the edge that looks so cool Right, I like that. I mean, that has impressed me. It's probably cost me a fortune, but for the sake of it looking bloody awesome, I'm going to let it go. This is an emergency broadcast to all citizens. Increasing oh, I... areas of forest are being engulfed by Oh plants. no, and they are as well. The fire makes the air dangerous to breathe. I citizens don't want to lose the whole forest. Any premises near the fires and remain at a safe distance until emergency services manage to get the fires under control. Right, what I need to do then, if I can, is upgrade this. No, I don't want to relocate it. No. Oh, you can select operating districts. That's pretty cool. Maybe go here fire station firefighting helicopter or I need the watchtower first I have enough
Right, we now have a helicopter depot, which should, in theory, be able to put this fire out quickly. Much quicker than any other solution we have. There they go, helicopters on the move. That is pretty damn awesome. My headphones are about to run out of battery. in real quick. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Over the fire. Fire's out already. How cool was that? Oh no, <laughs> okay. That looks and sounds like a Huey to me. get a particularly good camera angle on that but that was so cool I think that was money well spent at just the right moment oh my god look at this how much was that oh my god how much was that 1.2 million I am a fool why did I do Pending that updates to our power grid the city will be experiencing rolling blackouts we urge the public to remain calm during these breaks in service and to follow the guidelines on the city's website on how to plan for these temporary events. This has been a local public service announcement. A driving advisory has been issued for the immediate area due to poor road conditions. Please exercise caution if you must drive and try to stay off the streets until conditions improve. This has been a local public service announcement. That was truly superfluous. Masterful counterpart. You're listening to Second Moon Radio, the station of levitated tastes. Don't touch that dial. We've got some lumpy, and dumpy land here. Story. The commercial district is booming as the area is attracting more high-end stores. This is bringing filling up nicely, though. Luxury to our neighborhood. You can now shop for designer shoes while sipping a fancy local Jarva Mate. Or so my wife tells me. That's good for business and good for the community. Thanks, Jim. We'll be back after this. Industry in the region is on the rise, and when business is doing well, that floats our boat. There's no sinking this boat, Glenda. Right, so some nice houses over here, I think. density housing I was going to do something then I completely forgot what it was Try doing one at an angle. <sighs> Just moved as I was about to click it. Okay, that's not turned out too bad. I 
quite like that. We need a lot more people moving in and a lot more money coming through. Again, it's all about housing, 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 housing now. Huge numbers of requests for housing. We're losing so much money. We're going to run out of cash really quick here. What have we got left? 300,000. going to have to do it. Uh, where's the main road? Oh, god damn. As I go to click on it, my, I get like a twitch in my arm. And uh, it just pulls the the angle off. There we go. That's what I was trying to do. I think it's going to be wise if we have. to be housing because we need to start pulling in some serious cash oh god Lumpy and rolly. I like that, that's a good thing. hope this starts bringing in a bit of a profit because right now we are struggling uh, 
police station. The police station opposite. Crikey, it's been a while since I built the schools. That's not even full. It's not even half full. Right, okay, well, that's my pitch. That's what I'm hoping is going to turn our deficit around. We've got 2,000 left. And that is it. That is all of our money gone. So, maybe the last thing I can do Muscle car garage. And Villa City. for uh, low density residential is still super high despite all of these I suppose they're not built yet Got some nice views out of there started to look pretty quite impressive actually Get some big old buildings popping up occasionally abandoned okay Developed land here. That's a nice view, isn't it? crime apparently still got unreliable health and unreliable internet we're nearly at the next milestone of busy town Okay. 
So that that wood company seems to have done that quite was well. Truly superfluous, masterful counterpart. You're listening to Second Moon Radio, the station of levitated tastes. Don't touch that dial. We're we're live, um, and we're getting reports about a traffic accident uh, somewhere. Uh, in the city. Road maintenance services have already been dispatched and traffic flow should return to normal. But if you're planning a quick trip out, you might want to wait a little while until everything clears up. If you're in it, you uh, you already know about it. No use reminding you. Meanwhile, uh, expect delays and drive safe. A housing shortage is driving up prices in the area. That's right, Glenda. But apparently that's not all good news. We're joined today by an expert guest, Professor Nutbutter. Welcome, Professor. So a housing shortage is bad for the people trying to move here, right? Humans are programmed to desire certain representations within ideological reward structures, which are entirely apart from the actual rewards enjoyed. For example, consider capital. Right, one, one final question, Professor. Is the housing shortage going to make me richer? By certain metrics, perhaps yes, in the short term. I like the sound of that. But what we are discussing is the study of a statistical abstract and its effect on the human Thank you, Professor. It is a question of priorities. Lack of entertainment. Okay, well, that's something I could possibly do something about. Parks and recreation is actually... Not really that much I can... Uh-oh, we're in debt. Oh yes, here we go then. So if this little collection of housing doesn't boost our income enough, then uh, we're done for. in that much money. have to bring this down somehow, aren't we? Fire and rescue appears to be our highest garbage management. Let's bring that right down. Let's just leave that 100%. Right, so we're only, we're almost there, we're almost there. Producing some logs. What is 
various metals, beverages, convenience foods, furniture, okay. Still a hundred sixty-eight thousand deficit. <coughs> so we're still growing, people are still happy. We're just seriously lacking. Cash. What I tried to do here didn't work, so we'll change it, I guess. At least there's a demand for this stuff. Quite a few houses there being built. Six thousand an hour in deficit. Scrapyard. It says muscle car garage. I was expecting expensive muscle cars. It turns out it's a flipping scrapyard. Oh dear. Oh well. It's still going up. better. So how am I going to make 6,000? It's telling me we need more houses. Maybe, maybe they're right. Maybe we need another one of these. It's going to cost me how much? Forty-four thousand. Ah, I don't really want to take out a loan, but. Take out a loan up here. Mm. 
What? We've got a population of a hundred thousand people. Crikey. That happened very quickly. I do need to think how I'm going to do this. borrow 1.6 million so I just want to borrow 250,000 but that's going to cost me 12,000 a month and I'm trying to offset a deficit of 6,000 but how long how long is that going to take do anything. So that previous selection there wasn't 100% straight, I see. It cost less than I was expecting. Fingers crossed then. This has to offset the loan. No, 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 no. This has to offset the loan and the cost of and our deficit. So we gotta be we gotta make 18 grand out of this. Or in big trouble. demand is for low density residential right now. It's a long way away, isn't it?
Well, they're filling up. Oh no, I didn't use the wrong road, did I? Oh, I did. Oh, nuggets. If they don't link up, oh no. the wrong road. Damn it. Oh, it's just cocked everything up that has. At least we'll be able to compare what difference that makes. Made a bit of a mess. Okay, we'll see what difference that makes then. That may actually work better. We may have less traffic issues here. I don't know. I'll have to wait and see, I guess. Pathfinding failed. Really? Oh, I see. Was that it? Just that one? Awkward. Still, the demand for housing is going up. I'm running out of space to put houses in. The deficit's gone down by 2,000, but up 
overall because we had to uh, pay the debt off. to get enough people in here. We've got some rather nasty lumpy bits over here, look. Lovely for variety, not so good for building on. Fourteen going to be too much. Grow pretty damn fast. Still not making enough wood, so let me do something here. I have a bit of cash left, so. Grand that cost me. Too big, was it? Pending updates to our power grid, the city will be experiencing rolling blackouts. We urge the public to remain calm during these breaks in service and to follow the guidelines on the city's website on how to plan for these temporary events. This has been a local public service announcement. That was truly superfluous. Groovy. Masterful counterpart. You're listening to Second Moon Radio, the station of levitated tastes. Don't touch that dial. Right. So with two of and them... on to our main feature story. The commercial district is booming, as the area is attracting more high-end stores, bringing the latest in luxury to our neighborhood. You can now shop for designer shoes while sipping a fancy local Jarva Mate, or so my wife tells me. That's good for business and good for the community. Thanks, Jim. We'll be back after this. Industry in the region is on the rise, and when business is doing well, that floats our boat. There's no sinking this boat, Glenda. 
<sighs> Need more people. Okay, more people, more taxes, more money, but it's a totally different dynamic to City, uh, City Skylines 1. This is way, way more people. I don't even know how many people we've got living here now. It's got to be a lot. get a fact check if we hit busy town 1.6 million again ore mining gated communities loads of stuff they haven't even started to consider yet oh wow is it daytime at last So lots and lots of buildings being abandoned from our initial building location. Not entirely sure why that is. Probably because there's better houses over here. We've got our deficit down to 3,900 3, for a second there. So this might tip us over the edge. We might actually start making a profit with all these homes no it doesn't it doesn't look fantastic I mean, it doesn't look terrible I don't think but Should bring in three thousand a month, an hour, an hour, or I don't know actually, an hour. That's a good question. Will it bring in three thousand an hour? It might not. New signature building, building sculpture mansion. Beautiful. I do like adding new. Super cool buildings. And finally, this house has a neighbour. employees look 
can't believe I put that there. See how the pollution situation is going on. That's not too bad. Noise pollution isn't out of control. Ground pollution is mostly isolated. But not too bad. Air pollution is a little nasty. Good that this is all blown that way. That's it, we've done it. Milestone 7 unlocked, busy town and um, I think we may actually be turning a profit soon. That's really hard, it's, it's so different from the first one. If you come at this like you did in the first game, you're going to get some problems. That's what I'm discovering anyway. I've got 10 development points I could spend. I don't know what I'm going to spend it on. Yeah. It, I don't know. There are like lots of things I think are better, like this feels better, but it just feels like there's less stuff. I don't know if there actually is less stuff or just the same stuff as before. Yeah, I don't know. Road maintenance facilities, traffic lights and signs, as well as roadside decorations. Ah, I'm going to unlock that. Because I think that's what I've been looking for. And parking areas, I want that too. Yeah, okay. This has been an interesting first crack of the whip at this, I have to say. Um, I'm certainly learning a lot, but I feel like I'm still swimming against the current at the moment. But uh, stick with me, and I'll stick with it, and we'll get there eventually, hopefully. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Take care. Goodbye for now.